Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm going to be working with the complete card and box die set and this is from the new 6x6 collection. So we're going to decorate it with the trellis and the nesting circles and make a stand to display the card once we've finished it. We'll pop it into a beautiful box and we'll decorate them both to match. So my colour scheme for today's card is pale, lemon and white. So I need to make sure that I have enough card to make both the card and the box. So let's get the die cutting done first. With the box part to the die set I'm going to cut this twice and that will give then with the card making element I've taken another piece of white card and I've folded it in half. And I'm going to place the non-cutting edge of my die over the fold and that will cut me a 6x6 six six square. Now from the with love part of the die set I've cut the words five times. Now the trellis die comes in two pieces. So with this piece I'm going to cut some yellow mats and I'm going to cut two. Now with the same die and some white card I'm going to cut two more mats and then we'll add the patterned piece to the centre. So once I have these cut I find that this trellis die is so intricate that it cuts better if you do them in two separate pieces. So I'm going to cut both of these white panels with the patterned piece. So there's my cut panels and each one of these is going to be matted onto the front of the plain panel. So one is for the card, the other is for the box. Now with the nesting circles and some more white card, I'm going to take the two largest dies and pop them onto my card and I'm going to cut those circles twice. Now with the card stand we're cutting one of the solid pieces and I'm going to cut two of the patterned ones and I'm going to add a piece to each side of this die cut so that this will be pretty then from whichever angle you view it. So now that we have everything die cut, let's start putting this card together. So the first thing we're going to do is glue all these with loves together to stack them up and I'm going to glue these panels onto the solid pieces and I'm going to glue these together so that the patterns line up. So everything's glued, ready to be used, but I'm going back to the circular dies and I'm taking one, two, three, fourth die and I'm going to cut another circle in the yellow. Now with some yellow ribbon, I'm going to weave my ribbon through the centre of this panel. So I'm going to come up and down through all the bits until I have the, the ribbon woven through all of it. Now I need to make sure that my ribbon stays straight so we'll just bring some through and we'll just straighten this piece up and we're going to go all the way around. So once you've gone all the way around, don't pull your ribbon tight, keep it nice and loose in there and make sure that you finish so that the ribbon is on the way up. So this is the last piece going down and there it's coming up 
and now both pieces of my ribbon are facing up to the top. So now I can just tie these in a knot, don't pull it tight. Don't pull the ribbon tight because you don't want to pull it through the, the slots. And now you can tie this into a bow. And you can trim off the ends. And then when you add it to your card, you can do it with the bow at the top or at the side or at the bottom. It's entirely up to you. But let's get the rest of the card now put together. So I've added foam tape to the back of mine and I'm going to add it to my yellow and white panel. Now I haven't cut the ends off because what I want to do with mine is keep the bow to the side and then I'm going to wrap the ends around that panel and fasten them on the back. And then again I'm adding this now with some foam tape. Keep the ribbon to the side. And now I can add this piece on. And in the middle of there I'm going to glue in my words. So before we dress the card anymore, let's go ahead and make the box. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this top portion.
So now with the beautiful box made, we're going to add the card and we're going to pop the stand in as well so that your recipient can display that on their mantelpiece. And that's a beautiful gift for somebody with love. So these are the items that I've used from the 6x6 collection. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.